Miss Barb here with a fun faith adventures message for the first Sunday in Lent. I brought a bowl of candy today. It's full of Hershey Kisses. There was a bowl of candy like this one sitting on the coffee table in the living room of Mary's house. Mary's mother noticed that she was looking at that candy and said, now don't you eat any candy until after dinner or you'll spoil your appetite. But the candy looked so good and the temptation was so great. Surely just one little piece won't hurt, and mother will never know the difference, Mary thought to herself. Have any of you ever had an experience like that? Here's another story that might sound familiar. Put away your books and take out one sheet of paper and a pencil, the teacher said. We are going to take our weekly spelling test. Johnny had an empty feeling in the pit of his stomach. He knew that they were going to have a spelling test today, but he watched TV last night instead of studying and he wasn't ready. As the test began, Johnny looked around the room and realized that he had a clear view of Sally's paper. It won't hurt if I look at Sally's paper just this once, Johnny thought to himself. I promise I'll never do it again and nobody will ever know. All of us have faced temptations such as these, haven't we? Did you know that Jesus was tempted just as we are? The Bible tells us that Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit into the desert where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days. Do you know what Jesus did when the devil tempted him? He answered him with scripture. Jesus had not had anything to eat for 40 days. He was hungry and Satan knew he was hungry. So he said to him, if you are really the son of God, turn these stones into bread. Jesus could have easily done what Satan suggested, but he didn't. Instead, he answered, it is written, man does not live by bread alone. Then the devil took Jesus up to a high place and showed him the worldly kingdoms below. All of this belongs to me, he said. If you will bow down and worship me, I will give it to you. Jesus answered, it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Next, the devil took Jesus to Jerusalem and led, up, led him up to the highest point on the temple. He said to Jesus, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down from here. God will send his angels to rescue you. Again, Jesus quoted the scripture. Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Do you know what the devil did? He gave up. He said, I'll come back and try another day. If you were here, I'd give each one of you a piece of candy from this bowl. I wouldn't tell you not to eat it until after dinner, but rather, as you ate it, I want you to remember about what we had learned in our Bible lesson today. Satan tempted Jesus, just as he tempts you and me. Jesus resisted Satan's temptation, and we can too, by answering him with scripture. Let us pray. Dear Father, help us to learn what the Bible teaches us to do, so that when the devil tempts us, we can do what Jesus did, answer him with scripture. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye, everybody. See you next time.